about we know that Srimad Bhagavatam is a ripened fruit of the Vedic tree. Well, we know that Srimad Bhagavatam is the ripened fruit of the Vedic tree. And by distributing it on Bhadra Purnima, and by distributing it on Bhadra Purnima, not only are we blessed, not only are we blessed, but the people who take the Bhagavatam set are also blessed. But the people who take the Bhagavatam sets are also blessed. <coughs> and uh, if the people would even read one verse, if the people would even read one verse or one sentence, or one sentence, they will get a blessing. They will get the blessings. And of course, we would hope that they'll read the whole set. Of course, we would hope that they would read the whole set. And we very. Wise and be very wise. I was reading in the Bhagavatam Mahatmya. I was reading in the Bhagavata Mahatmya. How whoever has a set of Srimad Bhagavatam. How whoever who has a set of the Srimad Bhagavatam. All the devas come from the heavenly planets. And pay their obeisances. All the devas will come from the heavenly planets and would pay their obeisances to the Bhagavatam set. To the Bhagavatam sets. Since the Bhagavatam is not different from Krishna. Since the Bhagavatam is not different from Krishna. I heard a one a lady was carrying a set of Bhagavatam. I heard that one lady was carrying a set of Bhagavatam across the road. Across the road. Unfortunately, she was a bit careless. Unfortunately, she was a bit careless. And uh, she got hit by a car. And she got hit by a car. And she died instantly. And she died instantly. But Prabhupada said, by because she was carrying the Bhagavatam, so, she went back to Godhead. So Prabhupada said that because she was carrying the Bhagavatam, she went back to Godhead. So, of course, we don't want any devotee to be hit by a traffic. So, we don't want any devotee to be hit by a truck. But we should understand that carrying the Bhagavatam is so sacred. So, we should understand carrying the Bhagavatam is so sacred. And I see uh, many devotees. And I see many online. I, and I see many devotees there online. And I'm very grateful that they're all taking a great interest. I'm very grateful that they all are taking a great interest about this distribution of Srimad Bhagavatam. About this distribution of the Srimad Bhagavatam. I have a virtual table. I have a virtual table. And sometimes people sponsor all set of Bhagavatam. Sometimes people sponsor the whole set of the Srimad Bhagavatam. But Bhadra Purnima, hundreds of people. But in Bhadra Purnima, hundreds of people. Then so many people take up take the Bhagavatam. It's so many people they take up and read the Bhagavatam. And Prabhupada was saying and Prabhupada was saying we simply repeat a random. So if we simply if we repeat verbatim the purpose which we are given in the Srimad Bhagavatam. The purport which are given in the Srimad Bhagavatam. And chant Hare Krishna with ecstasy. And chant Hare Krishna with ecstasy. 
that will be sufficient for your preaching work. That will be sufficient for your preaching work. Srila Prabhupada said this in Montreal. Srila Prabhupada said this in Montreal. 10th of June. 10th of June. Why here? 1968, Srila Guru Maharaj. At that time, I was, I might have been in Montreal then. Then that time, I might have been in Montreal then. Uh, so, uh, this is so important, the Srimad Bhagavatam. So, this is so important, the Srimad Bhagavatam. People have forgotten a lot, or they don't even know a lot of the Supreme Personality Godhead. People have forgotten about, or they don't even know about the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, Bhagavatam, Bhagavat Purana, tells all about a Supreme Person. So, the Bhagavatam, or Bhagavat Purana, tells all about the Supreme Person. So that's why it's so important. So that's why it is so important. And uh, Lord Chaitanya said, Bala Krishna, Vajra Krishna, Kara Krishna, Shikha. And Lord Chaitanya said, Bolo Krishna, Bajo Krishna, Koro Krishna, Shikha. Uh, so, Chant Hare Krishna, worship Krishna, and study his teachings. So chant Hare Krishna, worship Krishna, and study his teachings. So, Prabhupada explained this to Krishna Shikha. So, Srila Prabhupada explains there is two Krishna Shikha. Gita is Spoken by Krishna. Gita is spoken by Krishna. And Bhagavatam is spoken about Krishna. And Bhagavatam is spoken about Krishna. So uh, both are Krishna Shiksha. So both are Krishna Shiksha. And this was Lord Chaitanya's order. So this was Lord Chaitanya's order. How we carry out the Lord's order and then we're blessed. So if we carry out the Lord's order and then we are blessed. I remember how it describes that Gadadha Pandit. I remember how it describes that Gadadha Pandit. He would read parts of the Bhagavatam. He would read the parts of the Bhagavatam. That's the Dula Chirit and Pralad Chirit. Especially the Dhruva Charitra and Prahla Charitra. A hundreds of times. A hundreds of times. He would read it again and again. He would read it again and again. And Lord Chaitanya would he never get tired of hearing this topics. And Lord Chaitanya, he was never tired of hearing these topics. And uh, another one. Srinivas Acharya went to Nilachal. I remember when Srinivas Acharya went to Nilachal. He wanted to receive the instruction on the Srimad Bhagavatam. So he wanted to receive the instruction on Srimad Bhagavatam. From Lord Chaitanya. From Lord Chaitanya. But Ch Lord Chaitanya had just disappeared. But Lord Chaitanya had just disappeared. Uh, but Lord Chaitanya appeared in a dream. But Lord Chaitanya appeared in a dream. So Srinivas Acharya and told him to go to Gadadhar Prabhu. To Srinivas Acharya and told him to go to Gadadhar Prabhu. And then he went to Gadadhar Prabhu. Who wasn't seeing anyone. And then he went to Gadadhar Prabhu, who wasn't seeing anyone. Because he was in great separation that Lord Chaitanya left. That because he was in great separation that Lord Chaitanya had left. When he heard the name of Srinivas, but when he heard the name of Srinivas, he, 
he let him in. And then Srinivas asked him, I want to learn from you. And Srinivas asked, Bhagavatam. And Srinivas asked him, I want to learn from you. The Srimad Bhagavatam. But then he said, Look at my copy of Bhagavatam. And he said, Look at my copy of Bhagavatam. It's all washed out with tears. It, it's all washed out with tears. He had read the Bhagavatam so many times. He had read the Bhagavatam. Cried in ecstasy. He had read the Bhagavatam so many times and cried in ecstasy. That his Bhagavatam, the letters were washed out. That his Bhagavatam, the letters were washed out. So, why is the Bhagavatam important? So, why is the Bhagavatam is important? I don't think we can begin to understand. I don't think we can begin to understand. It's so important. It's so important. That people like Gadadhar Prabhu would read the Bhagavatam 100 times. That people like Gadadhar, Gadadhar Prabhu would read the Bhagavatam 100 times. And he would be crying in ecstasy. And he would be crying in ecstasy. Maybe we have hard hearts. Maybe we have hard hearts. So when we read the Bhagavatam, so when we read the Bhagavatam, it's so rare that we cry. It's rare that we cry. But we can take inspiration. But we can take inspiration. A great soul like Gadadhar Prabhu. From great souls like Gadadhar Prabhu. Anyway, I hope that everybody understands. This is so important. So anyway, I hope that everybody would understand that this is so important. I'm glad I could spend a little time. So I'm glad I could spend a little time with all of you. With all of you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.